back on the Gower. It's been raining consistently and persistently for what, two, three weeks? Everything's a bit yeah, wet. Yeah, about three weeks since we bought the garden furniture. Yeah, you did it. It's the garden furniture Bye, that did it. Um, and it's a whole lot of sheep. And so far this year I've been teaching every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday fairly religiously and this is the first week. So now we've finished teaching anatomy to the physician associate students, we've finished teaching anatomy to the BSc students, that's a double module that we run, yeah. uh, and we're still teaching the medical students but it means I'm only on campus one day this week. So this one day, this Wednesday, middle of the week, it stopped raining and the sun's come out. So we're taking full advantage of it and we're just going to get out to a bit of third sister, climb some routes that we haven't climbed before, just some easy stuff. Um, should be dry, bolt clipping, so nice and safe. And uh, take advantage of this beautiful weather, this beautiful day, before the bad weather comes back again tomorrow. Apparently 50 to 60 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> we have... Ugh, probably climbed um, almost, in terms of sport routes, we've climbed almost everything that's under 6A and is not tidal. So when the tide's in, we, we struggle a little bit to find new places to go to. Um, and um, <laughs> Kim's fingers are not in a good state right now. They're, they're taped up. She's getting a bit of osteoarthritis, I think. Um, so I don't want to stress her fingers out too much. But there are still a lot of 6Bs and 6Cs that when your fingers get fresher will start knocking off. Yeah. Rocking around like, oh my god, it's like bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Led all of those. Yeah, go me. Did. That was great. That is unusual. Um, very nice to get out. Um, the problem is, like, you know, we talk about routine a lot. Um, because I do so much and so many people rely on me and I'm always very busy, I feel really guilty when I take like an unscheduled morning out to go climbing and do something. Which, you know, I do it because this is the only weather window we've got. But, and luckily I didn't have anything on today. So, the day just gets shifted around, you know. You spend the morning climbing. You catch, catch up that time later in the day. And if I teach on Mondays, I'm already working on Sundays. And Kim tells me off for feeling like that, but... It's been something I've said to myself for ages is... I need to get better at skiving. Especially as I'm getting older. I've got to take advantage of this world and being with Kim over working all the time and worrying about work all the time. Uh, we're home. So like I say, I am catching up with my work. And what work am I doing? I'm writing exam papers. You're not allowed to see this. No, you, no exam. I'm writing exam papers. They're secret exam papers. They're not for you. So you can't see my screen there, can you? Don't look. Um, and also I'm thinking of anything else I can do to avoid writing exam papers because believe it or not, it's actually quite boring. Like recording things like this instead of doing what I'm supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna do what I'm, I'm, gonna do what I'm supposed to be doing, you guys.
think I'm figuring out my calf issues. I don't know I'm figuring it out again. It's the same thing it always is. It's flexor hallucis longus. Or flexor hallucis longus, if you like. Big toe muscle. So <laughs> maybe I need... Maybe it's because I haven't been in the gym doing lower limb stuff. But maybe I need to um, strengthen my big toe muscles. I, <laughs> I love this phrase. I am at a mass vaccination centre. I mean, in the future, this is going to look nuts, isn't it? I am in a mass vaccination centre. Um, I've driven Kim up here once. Now it's Jack's turn. Jack stuck his name on a waiting list. So, you know, if there are spare vaccines um, not being not going to be used by their sell-by date, then you, you can get bumped up the list. So Jack is getting his first COVID jab. Isn't that good? It's like something out of a 1970s Doctor Who episode out here. I love it. Old industrial space is not being used for anything, so um, got used as another great phrase: used as an emergency hospital, expecting the worst to happen. Luckily, it didn't, so we didn't use these hospitals. Yeah, hey, that was quick. How was that? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was really quick actually. strong days and some days are tired days. Not a strong day today. It's very steep that route and even though I've climbed it before you forget where the holds are and they're a little bit difficult to find. But nonetheless I climbed it first with terrible technique and didn't really get away with it. Super hard, super pumped. Kim had a go and then I climbed it again focusing on good footwork and perfect technique and it was so easy I, it does help knowing where the holds are but it was so so easy you think I'd have learned by now right you think I'd have learned chill out place your feet move cleverly <sighs> some days the rock just hands it to you <laughs> <laughs> If a light stand. Yeah, I do. This one's bending. But how do I look? Right, switch that light off. I've got actually switch both those lights off. That's just the new light. Ooh, moody. <laughs> uh, but if I have a little bit of infill, I don't know how bright that is at the moment. Mmm, soft. Professional, I don't know, professional, I'm rarely professional, but that's what I meant. Oh, what is it? Mm. What does a skull look like? I 
Okay, look out for that in this week's anatomy video. Thank you.